So in the last video, I took apart this second generation iPod Touch. Uh, it is completely, it's still in pieces. Like I haven't, I haven't done anything else to it. The battery's still poking out like that. Yeah, it's all still a mess. But today we're gonna be doing something, uh, something a little similar to what I used to do on this channel. Uh, I would test iPhone motherboards uh, to see which ones were locked, and if they were locked, I would do something special to unlock them and restore them again. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We have this 100% working iPhone 5C. We're gonna be putting some other logic boards in them, and we're gonna see if it needs restoring, and if it does, uh, we're gonna try to see if we can successfully restore it, and if we can't, then oh well, at least we tried, you know? So what we have to do first is shut down the 5C, bam, we take our tool, boom, easy, you know, this, this is what I'm used to, not iPod touches, but iPhones, or at least the 5C anyways, boop, 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 and boop. Let's take out that SIM card before we damage the working motherboard. Boom. Working one, we put it here so that we know where it is. All right, let's try this one. This one I have a little bit of hope for. All right, everything seems to be connected. Let's put our screen on. Okay, cool. We have life. Oh. Oh, this is the iOS 7 motherboard. Okay. So this motherboard fully works. It's on iOS 7.1.2, I believe. Yeah, 7.1.2. iOS 7 motherboard. Very cool. Actually, very, very awesome. It's actually really cool that I have a, a 5C motherboard on iOS 7. I should actually mark this. I should mark this motherboard. I do have a Sharpie. All right. That one, that one works. This one fully works. iOS 7.1.2. Okay, it's off. Now we can take it off. We're off to an actually really good start. This is actually a really good start. Good, really good. Hang on, let me just, let me just label this real quick. Just so I'm aware which motherboard this is. Oh, <laughs> it smells like Sharpie now. All right, next motherboard. Connect it all up. This one looks a little bent. It looks kind of sketch, but we'll try it. We'll try. All right, will it boot? Yes, it will. Oh, there we go. Oh, this one works. Okay, this one completely works too. Wow, okay. This is a really, really good batch. I, I want to say, what iOS version is this? 9.2.1, okay. Oh, uh, just the home button. Uh, the home button doesn't work. Unless this is just the motherboard that's doing this it's not doing the do with the motherboard or the home button i should say time to shut it down we might have three good motherboards if uh oh you know what it's probably the dock connector that's probably what it is all right next motherboard all right so now we gotta write on this one 9.2.1 into the pile last motherboard all right oh those are connected now we put our screen on and let's test it all right we're gonna test the home button if it does go to a home screen we're gonna try the home button okay this is the icloud logged ios 10 one i can already tell all right english united states does the home button work? Yes, it does. All right, so that it was just that motherboard. All right, well, this one is the iCloud locked one. All right, phone ran out of space. That's fine. I don't know what that is. Uh, I labeled the... Hello? Weird. Weird, okay. Uh, I was gonna say I labeled the working motherboard the first one that was in the beginning of the video so that's now labeled we're gonna put that over here 
Uh, now it turned back on. That's weird. I don't know why. Yeah, you're at 74%. Why are you dying like that? It's not detecting my Wi Fi network, so that's really odd. Um, I don't know any iOS 10 uh, bypass tools, so yeah, we're just gonna have to leave that at that. And with that, I think I'm gonna end this video here. So if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more, leave a like, maybe even subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you wanted me to do two more of these motherboards because I know these two, I'm pretty sure, are uh, activation, not activation, but like they can't be activated because they're on like iOS 8 or something and they're just like locked or iOS 9. So let me know if you want me to uh, try to restore them to iOS 10 or something to help activate them, and I will see you guys in the next video.